Hey guys, I'm Emily with Healthy Living on a Budget. Today I'm going to show you a super easy and affordable sunblock recipe. It's been a really funky spring here. It's been rainy and then it's been 90 degrees. So my skin hasn't had a chance to get acclimated to the heat and the sun. So this is one of those recipes I use when I'm going to be out in the middle of the day and I just haven't, like I said, built up my sun exposure. Today was actually one of those days. I just got back from a middle of the day run and it was kind of hot. So I decided I'd throw on some of my sunblock and a hat and then I went out for a run and I didn't get burned, which is always a plus. Serena shared with you guys an awesome essential oil sunblock recipe last week. So what I'm going to show you today is just another option. Um, it's a little cheaper, quicker, and easier. So you're welcome to use either one and see which one you like best. All right, so you guys ready for my super complicated recipe? Here it is. It involves just two ingredients. Zinc oxide powder and coconut oil. And that's all. You have the option of making this recipe either in just a batch, something that you use all summer and just scoop it out and put it on when necessary, or you can make it as needed, which is actually what I tend to do. So I'm gonna show you how to make it as needed. All you do is you scoop out a little bit of coconut oil, put it on your hand, take a small pinch of zinc oxide powder, mix it together with your fingers, and you're good to go. Then you can take it, put it on your face, chest, neck, arms, wherever you think is necessary. The more zinc oxide powder that you use, the more sunblock you're actually getting but the more zinc oxide powder you use, the wider it's going to be on your face and everywhere else. So I like to use just enough um, that, just to the point where it's almost white, but not quite. So it blends in, you really can't tell that I have anything on my face. Quick note about zinc oxide powder, it makes a fantastic sunblock, but you do wanna make sure that you use a non-nano particle. What that means is that if the particles are just big enough, the particles of zinc oxide are just big enough, so that way they aren't easily and readily absorbed into your, into your skin. Um, once again, this does mean that it's gonna sit on your face and create that barrier, so it's gonna be white if you use a lot, but it's much better than getting it absorbed into your skin. So go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna post links below to my favorite zinc oxide powder and coconut oils. And yeah, I know you guys are gonna love it. It works perfectly and it's so wonderful. All right, thank you guys for watching.